Hello learners. When we think of the future, we might think of flying cars, space travel, and artificial intelligence programmed to get smarter. Imagine that, if you could just rewire your brain to get smarter. Well, guess what? You can, and you already do. We've already learned that when we make the choice to turn a challenge into an opportunity, our neurons begin communicating by sending signals to one another. When we lean in and put in effective effort, the signals get stronger, and eventually, with practice, persistence, and productive struggle, the neurons connect and zap! We grow and get smarter. Today, we're going to learn how our beliefs about our own ability to learn can actually rewire our neural pathways and make us smarter. No computer chip implant required. It all starts with something called the mysterious second flash. Are you curious? Let's fire up our neurons and learn something new. We're here to talk about rewiring your brain without a scalpel or pliers or scissors? Really? No, we're going to rewire the neurons in our brains with our brains. Let's take a look at some science. Researchers wanted to find out what happens in the brain when we make a mistake. So they asked a group of participants to complete a series of tasks while wearing a helmet that records electrical activity in the brain. Because come on, all the best brain research includes crazy looking helmets. They separated the participants into two groups. We'll talk about how they were separated later. For now, let's just call them group one and group two. Participants from both groups would strap on the fancy science helmets and perform some tasks. Then, when the participants made a mistake, they'd record the brain activity. And here's what they found. The instant the participants made a mistake, the helmet recorded a flash in the prefrontal cortex in both groups. As it turns out, all brains have the same initial response to an error. When we make a mistake or face a setback, a neuron sends an electrical signal that flashes in our prefrontal cortex. Hey, you know what the prefrontal cortex is? That's our smart part, the part of the brain that helps us think and make smart decisions. This first flash means that all of the participants were aware that they made a mistake. The researchers called this the, hmm, whoops, signal. Cool technical name. But what's really interesting is what happens just a fraction of a second later. After the hmm, whoops response, the first flash, the scans in group one showed that activity in the prefrontal cortex went back to normal. This meant that their brains didn't think anymore about the mistake. But the scans in group two, just an instant after the mistake, had a second flash. The brains of the group two subjects became more active. That means more neurons firing. So instead of wanting the mistake to go away, the group two brains were saying, huh, I'm curious. Here's a chance to get better. It's time to gear up. The participants in group one made a mistake and wanted it to go away. And the participants in group two, they made a mistake and recognized it as an opportunity to grow. So what was the difference between these two groups? Was it adults versus kids? Boys versus girls? People who put pineapple on pizza versus no pineapple? No. The only difference was this. Group one was full of people who thought that their intelligence was fixed and unchangeable. They believed that they were born with the amount of intelligence they were always going to have. They didn't believe that they could get smarter. But group two, they believed that their intelligence was malleable, that it can improve. And this belief rewired their brains until the belief that they could improve and get smarter wasn't just a thought, but a physical change in how their brain responds to challenges. That was it. Simply recognizing a mistake and framing it as an opportunity to grow caused a physical change in their brains, connecting new pathways and helping them get smarter. And guess what? Scientists found that the more people practiced being aware of their mistakes and getting curious, the more likely they were to get that second flash. Getting curious makes it easier to get curious. Now here's the best part. Scientists also discovered that if the people in group one, those that didn't have that second flash, practiced becoming aware of their mistakes, they started having the second flash too. This can work for anyone. Even if you don't start out believing that challenges are opportunities to grow, you can still rewire your brain just by practicing getting curious when you make a mistake. Because getting curious means we believe in our ability to learn something new. 
This is what we call a growth mindset. And it's what we've been talking about when we look at how our neurons make new connections or how we make new pathways when we try something new. At the core of these physical changes is the belief that we can improve our skills and intelligence. The growth mindset. Growth mindset is really powerful. Like, change the way your brain physically works powerful. And to use it properly, we need to dig into how and why it works. In our next lesson, we're going to explore what growth mindset is and how we can choose to use it to grow and improve. There's a lot more to learn, so we hope to see you there. And congratulations, you just got smarter. Thanks for joining me, learners. This second flash research came from Michigan State University, and you can read more about it at the link in the description. And we've got a bunch more lessons about growth mindset and your incredible brain right here. So we hope you'll keep learning with us.